Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. All right, everybody. Yesterday, Shigeru Miyamoto gave us a tour of the Nintendo Museum in Japan. And man, this museum is amazing. At first, I thought this museum was just going to be, you know, the history of Nintendo and everything like that, showcasing the games and everything like this. But this museum is way more than that. And it convinced me that I have to visit Japan as soon as possible. Now, this factory was built on the same land as the original Nintendo Hanafuda factory and also this will be opening on October 2nd, 2024 so you don't have that long to wait. Although tickets are up for reservations and I'm not too sure how you're going to get your tickets right now because I'm pretty sure they are sold out. Now with that being said, from what Nintendo showed us, there are two floors to this museum. The top floor is reserved for all the history of Nintendo, all the games from the Famicom system all the way up to the Switch and I'm loving the decor. They have these huge controllers as well as these consoles for the Game Boy and everything like this and the Switch hanging from the ceiling to you know, represent all the different systems. They also have various different controllers as well as game systems and showcases around the second floor. And they also have all the first party games and showcases and they also have these screens that showcase the different games as well. So this is really dope, man. I'm loving what they did here on the second floor. It's tons of history on that second floor and I'm pretty sure that if you have a camera, cell phone or whatever, you're going to be taking tons of pictures to get all the memories in here man from nintendo now this isn't the only floor yes there is a first floor and they blew me away from what was shown on that first floor because that's where all the quote unquote nintendo magic is happening now First off, they showcase this card game. It's a Japanese card game. It's not Hanafuda, but it's a Japanese card game where you can interact with on a large screen floor and you use a smart device that the museum gives you to do so. And this is really dope, man, with this AR technology. So yeah, man, a very interactive theme that they have here going on with this card game. And I'm not too sure if those Japanese characters on those cards can be translated to other languages, but whatever, man, it is what it is. It looks fun either way. Now, Shigeru Miyamoto also revealed that when you enter the museum you receive this card here that you see on your screens here and every game that you play on the first floor you receive some digital coins so yes it is very interactive now with that being said Shigeru Miyamoto also revealed that they have some type of batting cage and it's set in some type of office theme and depending on what items you hit whether it's bottles TVs fax machines printers things like this you'll gain points as well so it's pretty dope man I'm pretty sure that children are going to go bonkers in this part just trying to hit everything they can see but I'm pretty sure that they'll have staff in place to make sure it doesn't get too out of hand now Shigeru Miyamoto also revealed this interactive shooter game on the first floor too where you can use the NES zapper and I still have mine as well as the super scope which is dope too and you can shoot different characters on the screens and you gain points as well different Koopa Troopers you know things like this and it looks really dope man it's not just like one person or three people that you can play at a time there's a bunch of people that you can play at once and depending on who has the highest points at the end of the game that is the winner and that's not all. Shigeru Miyamoto also revealed this last interactive theme that they have on the first floor. And I think this is the coolest part of the entire tour. He revealed some large controllers for the Famicom, the NES, the Nintendo 64, the Wii. I didn't see the Super Nintendo, the Switch, as well as the Wii U, but I'm pretty sure they'll be there in the museum. And in this section of the first floor, you get to play games with two people because the controllers are way too big. So it's some cooperative play going on here. And this is very, very interesting because Nintendo is known for co-op play, the couch co-op. So for you to play two player in this fashion where someone controls the D-pad and someone else controls the action buttons, I think that's very impressive and just very Nintendo at the end of the day. Now, I want to point something out because as you see in the background there, it takes two people to wield that Wii remote because it's so big. So yeah, man, you're going to have fun in this section. And I'm pretty sure like the kids, if you bring your children to this thing, they're going to have so much fun with this. It's almost like a mini theme park within the museum. Now, that's not all. Of course, there's going to be a shop where you can buy items, whether it's probably games, t-shirts, things like this. And there's also a cafe as well. It looks like seats are limited, so I'm not too sure how many people will be allowed in the museum museum at one time the tickets right now are up for reservations and they're not that you know high or anything i believe for adults they're about 22 to 25 dollars and it goes down from there for children and things like that so yeah man i'm definitely convinced to visit japan i've always wanted to go there since i was a small child and this had nothing to do with nintendo i just always wanted to go there because i love their culture so yeah man i'm convinced i'm going to do this sometime very very soon i don't know when but it will be within the next two years 
With that being said, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.